Hello, Happy New Year. Hello, is it me you're looking for? I know it's been a while. I um, I think I had social media burnout, to tell you the truth. I got off of Facebook for a while, and I went back on, and then I went back off, and I don't know. I'm just going to take it a day at a time. Please don't notice my very messy background. The holidays were insane. Always a ton of things to do and a lot of travel. But anyway, I wanted to do a happy New Year's vlog. It is January 6th, I think. January 6th. And it's Friday, 2017. And like most of you, I'm looking forward to happy, healthy, positive, productive New Year. Um, but I wanted to talk about some things. Okay, so I'm going to start off with some firsts over 40. Um, recently, I was in a movie that um, is now been distributed and is out in Targets and Walmarts. And I think... I think that's it. I think Targets and Walmarts. It might be out somewhere else, but I was Christmas shopping and I was in Target and I was talking to my mom and just kind of rolling around and suddenly I saw this and I thought, I know that cover. I know that picture. And I realized, hey, hold on. That's the movie I'm in, being sold to Target. So here's the very exciting thing. I am also listed in the credits in the back. Now, for an actor, these things are like markers that you're kind of going in a direction. And so, although it might not matter to life in general, as an actor, it, it, it's like having your name up on the marquee. So it kind of has that kind of feeling. And when you act like in the way that I act, where I will get a lot of work, but I'm always kind of crunched in the middle somewhere or at the bottom of the credits or something like that. So to have something that I have and above the title credit, um, though that's not my first, like above the title credit's not my first. And I will say that I actually have been, it, when I was, okay, 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 I'm back. Cause I wanted to get something. Cause when I was in my twenties, I did star in a film called Night Ripper. I'm gonna eat it, bitch. I'm gonna find you. Why do you keep watching me? Awfully nervous tonight, aren't you? No, I'm not. Yes, I am. You're making me nervous. The way you keep staring at me like I'm some kind of freak. Why do people always stare? See that? And I also have my name on here, and this was distributed in video stores. Remember video <laughs> stores? Um, it was, excuse me. It's a private caller, hold on, okay. Um, yes, yeah, so I have been in a movie that I have had a starring role in. Sorry, Miss Hazelwood. Why did you call me that? It's the name you left on our answering machine, isn't it? You wanted Dave out of the way so you could murder Jill. Only your plans got a little screwed up. Did they? You didn't count on all this. Now if you'll excuse me, I'm going to call the police. That I have had my name on the cover that has been in stores and back then of course videos were distributed through video stores. Today's world, it's it's distributed through Target, Walmart, and what's that little red box? The red box, is that it? I think that's on, I think it's it's being distributed there too. So this is today's way of doing it. So this wasn't my first with a film, although it's been a really long jump between this one and this one, let's just say.
Um, so, but it was very exciting to be shopping on the phone with my mom and realize it and then see it and I bought some and you know, and it's great. And honestly, this movie is really good. This was directed by Gonzalo Gonzalez. And it is, it's just a really heartfelt film. It's, it's so, seriously? Okay, hang on. Okay, they're gone. Okay. Um, so I would recommend it. You can, you can, get it i i've seen it at several targets and um and i've never gone to walmart and seen it there but i know it's at walmart as well and i'm sure you can probably buy it online but it's um it's really really good um okay so that was so so it wasn't the first for that but what was the first is that we had a red carpet premiere <music> At Harmony Gold Theater in Hollywood. And that is the first time that I've ever walked the red carpet with a above the title credit lead in a film and premiered a movie. We did premiere Night Ripper, but it was, I know I'm getting a glare. It was, um, it wasn't really a red carpet event. It was in this, God, if I remember, it was in almost like a recreational hall and it was on it like a big TV screen back in the 80s. So this was the first time I've ever walked a red carpet where I had a part in the film and did a Q&A afterwards and, and, and Coming to you live from the green room at the Harmony Gold Theater for the world premiere of Finding Chance. I don't want to strip backwards. <laughs> wanted to tell you so that was exciting for me and you know a lot of people I know have walked red carpets and been in things and that just was never I never got a job where that was something that was a result of the job so that was a great first to have over 40s and also to have a film that is being distributed now that's something current that you've done is really fun too. And I just really, really like the film. I'm sorry, I, I can see it's getting a glare. Um, so anyway, so that's one of my first over 40 for 27. Okay, so I just wanna wrap up and I wanna wish everybody, sorry, the camera, well, that's what happened. And I'm trying to make it work. Okay, I just wanna wish everybody a happy new year. Every year I try to approach things differently. I try to add something into my life and take something out of my life. And I really examine the things that drained me and try to kind of move the chess pieces around so for everyone i just want to say happy new year it's early early january i'm looking forward to this year being a just a different year for me and i want to give a special shout out to my girl Lori, Lori love in texas who facebook that i was one of her favorite people for my birthday and um i'm just saying <laughs> means a lot. Um, I, you know, I have to say, uh, just as a little wrap up, I have friends that I grew up with on Long Island. I can name them all. Heidi, Lori, Penny, Deirdre, Kelly, Kathy, Joan, Lynn, Anne-Marie. I'm leaving people out, I know, but the list can go on of girlfriends that I grew up with in New York that um, on Long Island, if I lift you out, please comment and I will mention you because um, I know there's more. And we grew up from like kindergarten on and these girlfriends of mine are still like the salt of the earth girlfriends. And one of the ideas I had a couple of years ago that I've been mulling around in my head, but actually like a year ago, is I wanted to do kind of a pseudo documentary about the depths of these relationships. And I don't know, was it us? And was it the time period? Was it where we were raised? Was it because we didn't have social media that we only had each other? I don't know, but these relationships are still so solid. And it's womb to tomb with, with me and this group of girls and within each other. There's the other Heidi, Heidi Lee, Heidi Lee. Um, <laughs> that's short for her last name. Um, but um, they're all gonna come to me. And um, um, this, this group of girls and, and with, within each other, not just towards me or, to, but with, we would 
do anything for each other. And it's such a special bond that we have. And my mother used to tell me when we were kids, like, oh, you, well, a lot of people would think, oh, after high school, and you know, when school's over. And but my mother didn't think that. She used to say, I I've never seen a group of friends like this. We always had each other's back. We never backstabbed. We're always looking out for the other person. And one of the biggest keys is, and I don't know if this is a New York thing, we have no problem calling each other out on their BS. Like we would be like, hey, what's up with that? And sometimes if you were around a group of us, you might think, wow, because we can be very direct and very strong, but it works and it clears things up before they turn into anything. So anyway, that's like a project I've had in my mind that I wanted to do. I don't know how I want to go about doing it, but because I think female relationships are so important and they're really what carries you through. I mean, we started from diapers. So my Lori, that gave me the shout out, literally, we became friends when we were three. And so to have, to go through, I mean, I remember when, you know, I remember all the changes we had in our lives, we went through them together. And so um, anyway, so that's just another thought. So new ideas, things flying around in my head. But anyway, Happy New Year's, everybody. I love you, I love you all. Thank you, Lori. Yes, Heidi, I love you too. Heidi Woodruff, Heidi Woodruff, because she's gonna be like, huh, I didn't get a shout out. Anyway, mwah. Thank <laughs> you.